next to the word leader, um, you will see his name. Um, you will see his picture pop up next to those two words. And I just appreciate him so much because even through the adversity that he faced this year, he never stopped leading his football team. And so we, he's uh, always going to be a special young man in our life is uh, Mr. Dylan Owen. <laughs> players know I spoke on Friday to the team and I said just about everything that I can say to try and help this football team get in the right direction. You know, I look back on it, I look at the seniors up here, I look at the players we have out here and I thought a lot about how I'd feel at my senior banquet but I never knew that I would feel disappointed. I look up around here and all I see is a waste of talent. And I didn't come up here to ruin everybody's night or anything like that. But there's a situation going on at this university that has to change. And I know when I came in here, I had different expectations of what this moment would be like. I came from a place where we had turned the program around. And I never wanted anything more than to do that here. And you got to understand that I appreciate everything I've gotten from the University of Northern Colorado. I appreciate everybody in this room, everything that we've done. But to me, it's just a consolation prize. I came here to win, and we didn't get it done. And every day I feel like I need to get up and apologize to people like Vic Nottingham and Eden Nottingham and all the people that come out and support us and, and love the UNC football program because, to tell you the truth, I feel like some people don't appreciate it as much. And that's why I challenge everybody in this room to make a change. The two main points that I left with the team was don't make excuses. <clears throat> and if you see something that's wrong, you got to stand up and say something. And that's what I tried to do with this program. And I might not have done everything right. Looking back on it, I could have changed a lot of things. I could have worked harder. But everybody else needs to realize that too. This means more than you. This is about a team, a university, a community that all want to see us succeed. So every time this off season, when you don't want to show up, you don't want to do things right, I want you to think about how it felt yesterday. Because for the rest of my life, anytime anybody asks me how my senior year went, I'm going to have to say I went 0 and 11. 0 and 11. And that's something that I didn't want to say. I don't want that to be part of my history as a football player, but it is. And all I can do is take from this situation and use it to better my life in the future. And I hope that everybody can do the same. Don't sit around and make excuses about why we're not winning. We didn't win yesterday because we didn't play well enough. Not because the refs screwed us. That's the, th that's the type of thing that's going to turn this around and it takes everybody. So I just wanted to use this opportunity to say that. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. People think because they can't do something themselves that you can't do it. And they're wrong. And as much as I thank Coach Collins for saying that he's going to give me a ring as soon as we win a championship. I don't deserve it. The people that, that work hard enough to earn that, they deserve it. So go out and do it. Don't leave any excuses. Don't be up here as a senior wishing you could have done more. Thank you.